All right, thank you, Tony. New tonight, changes are coming to the Rhode Island State House that could make it easier for Rhode Islanders to understand what is in the bills being passed by lawmakers. The Rules Committee passed its annual rules bill tonight. This normally gets little attention, but a hearing on the bill earlier this week was so packed it required an overflow room. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado explains how a new reform caucus is part of the reason these changes are being made. She joins us live from the State House with more. Steph? Well, what is normally a sleepy annual tradition of passing the House rules has turned out to be one of the bigger issues at the beginning of this session. Tonight, changes were made to the th way things work that could make things more transparent here on Smith Hill. No, shall not apply to the budget. The House Rules Committee making a big change to the annual rules bill, voting to require revised bills, known at the State House as sub A's, be posted online 24 hours before a committee vote. The way it currently works, sub A's often come out minutes before a vote, before anyone in the public has had a chance to see the new bill. This is what's important, that we have to understand what we are passing for laws because they're laws that we all have to live by. Democrats on the House Reform Caucus taking credit for the change. The group of 19 voted against House Speaker Nick Mattiello and have made demands this year to change the way things are done. Well, we are thrilled and we thank the House Rules Committee and the Speaker for recognizing that the public has a right to know what's in a bill and legislators need to be able to read that. The new rule does not apply to the budget bill and does allow a chairperson to waive the 24-hour notice for minor changes like grammatical mistakes. I asked Rules Chairman Doc Corvasi if that could be abused. There's no chair worth their salt who's going to play around with that. And anybody who does that, and, any, and anyone who does that, obviously is putting their chairmanship in jeopardy. Speaker Mattiello dismissed the Reform Caucus on Dan York's State of Mind on Thursday, calling the group the High Tax Caucus. He said this of the unusually popular rules debate this year. Nobody cares about it. This is an internal game with this High Tax Caucus wanting to gain ground so okay. that they can pass their bad bill. Uh, now, there were other changes made to the rules in this bill, including a sexual harassment policy. The committee removed a provision in the policy that would have been essentially a gag order on harassment victims, requiring them to keep their complaints confidential. The rules are expected to go to the House floor for a vote next week. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.